Hey, this is Jennifer Dean from mindbodybride.com and you're joining me today for a workout with the Overwhelmed Bride where I'm going to take you through three variations of crunches. So grab your mat and let's do it to it. Let's start with the basic crunch. Lie on your back with the feet on the floor and the knees bent. The hands come behind the head with one hand stacked on top of the other. Inhale through your nose and as you exhale, lift the head and the chest up, bringing your gaze onto your navel. As you lift up your head and your chest, you wanna keep your pelvis completely steady and your low back on the floor. Challenge yourself by lifting and holding here. Continue to breathe, drawing your shoulders down your back and deepening your rib cage in towards your spine. Moving on to the rope climber. Take your hands above your chest. Begin to lift your head and chest and roll your spine away from the floor as you reach one hand on top of the other on your way up. And then very slowly resist gravity and roll your spine back down. This is a challenging move because it requires abdominal strength through every layer of your abs, as well as spinal flexibility. Try not to use any momentum and take your time as you roll up through every vertebra, keeping the feet flat to the floor. Your option for assistance is to walk your hands up the back of your legs as you come up and down. This is a really good place to start because this is not easy. So find an option where you can feel your core control, but you're not using momentum to come on up and down. Our next move is our reverse curl. Bring the knees up to 90 degrees in tabletop position. Press the low back onto the floor and then lift the hips up about one or two inches as you roll the knees in towards the chest. Exhale through your mouth as you lift the hips and that's gonna activate your deep low abs known as the transversus abdominis. Try not to swing your legs, but keep equal distance between the heels and the backside in every position. To increase the challenge, simply take your hands away from the floor and lift up to the ceiling with your fingertips. Your eyes must stay up to the sky during that exercise. Our last ab exercise is the side glide. So lift up into your basic ab crunch and then reach one fingertip at a time towards that same heel. You're laterally flexing the spine, which means you're bending from side to side, but you never lower your chest back down. You might notice that your knees and hips try and move. Keep them as steady as possible. If this is uncomfortable for your neck, simply take one or both hands behind the head. I hope that you enjoyed the three variations of crunches that I shared with you today and that you can use them in one of your workouts this week. I'd love to hear what you think, so please leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel. And for more workouts, recipes, and wedding stress busters for the busy bride-to-be, come on over to mindbodybride.com.